What is up guys, H and Masses here today back with another LEGO Star Wars review, this time on item number 75119, Sergeant Jin Erso. There are 104 pieces in this set. On the back of the box you can just see the functions in the set and another pose of the set. Jin Erso reminds me of a more refined version of the buildable figure of Rey. It has a very similar build and a very similar function, but it does have a little bit more refined stuff. The torso piece in the middle is new, they give it a more thin and more feminine look, which I do like, because I feel like it's more realistic. The arms, in my opinion, are just way too short. I feel like they should be at least one pinhole longer. And the legs do feel a little bit too wide to me around the hips. But let's go ahead and take a look at more of the functions. Similar to some of the other Star Wars that Jin Erso comes with the gun. The gun is made using the same mold they've been using for all of the other Star Wars sets. However, it is a little bit different in the way it's shot. The way it's shot is unlike the other ones, there's not a little trigger on the bottom here. It's actually located on the top in the form of this little sort of like aiming thing. So basically what you would do is you press it down like this and the little thing will come flying out. And then when you move it to the other side, you can see there's another extra blue little dart for you guys to shoot in case if you lose one of them. On the back of Jin Urso, you can see two more functions. We'll get into this second one a little bit later with these alternate weapons, but the first one I want to go over with is the main function. Now obviously this is the gear function, so just like all the other gear functions, what you will do is you will grab the knob and you will just turn it like so, and you'll see the arms will just go up and down. The friction in this one is relatively good, so you can pretty much always have a decent pose, although there are obviously a little bit of limitations that you'll get with the extra weight in the one arm. When you remove the gun, you can take these two alternate weapons from the back and attach it to her hands, and then you'll have this little alternate mode, which is basically just Jen Erso with these two sort of baton things, although I'm not exactly sure what these are supposed to be. And basically what you can do with this is using the gear function, you can just move the arms up and down. Now obviously the way these are attacked, they're going to fling all over the place. And sometimes you might get it stuck because say one of these batons gets stuck to the back of the leg. So that can be a little bit annoying, though I can see a little kid having fun with it. Taking a look at the head, you can see there are a decent amount of details. You move to the side, you can see there's just these little patterns going along the back here. You have the little glasses, you can see actually some hair coming out of the side. When you look at the front, you obviously have your sort of kind of weird cartoonish little Star Wars generic character look for these figures. And then on the other side, you can see a little bit of a different pattern. And even on the top, you can still see the patterns are still going there. The set also includes this new piece that was introduced for this current wave of these Star Wars construction figures. And it does a relatively good job of just covering up the entire bone from almost every angle. The head also has some issues moving side to side, and it has a lot of issues really moving up with just a very limited range because of the way this piece is made in the back, where they want to keep this ball joint attached using this one piece. However, the way that this goes there, there just isn't a lot of mobility for the head. So overall, Jin Erso is a relatively good figure. Although it doesn't deviate too much from the regular Star Wars building style, it's still a good figure. I do feel that it improves on the more human-like aspect of the sets, having a more realistic shape in my opinion, although to me it just still feels more like a very standard set, and for $25 I do feel like it is a little bit overpriced. It also does have a little bit of issues posing, because the lack of posability in the neck really limits the amount of poses you can get. However, you still have a decent range of poses, and the CCBS system also allows you to have a very, very wide amount of articulation within the limbs. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this review on Jin Erso. Hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, see you guys later.